Details and performance for the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous in Europe have been revealed. This is the European model. These are the specifications, the weight. It's um, actually quite interesting we have this information before Tesla even released this vehicle to the European car market, but apparently it's almost ready to go. It's gonna be on sale within a matter of weeks. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. And you know what, I am excited because I love the I love the new Model 3. I think it looks great. I think it looks way better than the previous model. Almost like a, a smaller version of the Tesla Model S, but better looking and relatively affordable. And to, let's be honest, I mean, the Model S Performance or the Model S Plaid, it, you can't buy it in most countries worldwide. But the Model 3 Performance, well, you will be able to. Anyway, the new Model 3 Ludicrous has, well, we've found out some of the details, what you guys are gonna get in Europe, and this would, of course, pertain to the Chinese-made version. So this will be the Australian version, the New Zealand version, the Thailand version, uh, the, the version in China. This is, these are basically the specifications of the ludicrous. European Model 3, so Chinese Model 3, performance variant has an optional tow hitch supporting 525 kilograms. So that's about 1,100 pounds. It's nine millimeters lower and four millimeters longer. That's just to do with, of course, the, the, the body work, the body kit. Key specifications, weight is surprisingly low. It's only 1,854 kilograms. That's about the same weight as a, um, a Mercedes C-Class internal combustion vehicle. That's 4,087 pounds. A battery pack, what's the battery pack? Okay, it's LG's 5L NMC, so nickel manganese cobalt battery pack. It has a 79 kilowatt hour capacity and a power limit of 415 kilowatt. Now that's um, kind of interesting because that's not the actual power of the motors. That's to do with how much the battery pack, how much power the battery pack can put out under strain, under load. Okay, the motors. It has enhanced motor configurations, 3D3A and 4D2A. Those are the code names of the two motors. Total power is 461 kilowatt. That's about 700 horsepower, 688 newton meters of torque. And that's supercar power in a vehicle that is, you know, it's not cheap, but it's relatively affordable. Okay, range, we know what the range is. WLTP, 528 kilometers on a charge. Uh, maximum speed, how fast can it go? 261 kilometers an hour. It comes standard with Pirelli P0 tires, and you can choose between 20 inch and optional 19 inch tires. So Tesla's letting you go down a size. I've never seen this before. I mean, when have Tesla been able to do? I've never seen a car manufacturer any any car manufacturer say to you guys, okay, you want want a bit more range? You can get smaller smaller wheels and tires. We won't charge you for that. That's an option. It's a really good idea. I've mentioned that on the channel a few times. Fortunately, Tesla have been watching the channel. No, they have not been watching the channel. I don't think they have anyway. But anyway, I think that's a that's a nice change. So what does that mean? Comes with twenty inch tires, standard. Now you're probably going to get about five percent more range if you option the smaller wheels, nineteen inch wheels. Your car won't look as pimp, right? but it will be more practical and you probably get better feel. Generally, smaller wheels and tires um, is more comfortable. Usually that's the case. The Ludicrous variant is slightly heavier than the Tesla Model 3 Performance, the old version. The Ludicrous is just a little bit heavier and the reason is because it's got a bigger, more powerful motor in the rear. It's got 113 more horsepower from that new rear motor. It's got new wider rear tires. Those wider tires add a little bit of weight. Um, what this means though, there is a tiny decrease in torque and a tiny decrease in WLTP range, but so small that it's not really even worth talking about. There's a difference as well, new suspension at the rear. It's meant to be able to handle this extra 113 horsepower from that rear motor. And like I said, wider tires. Those wider tires, that new suspension, that more powerful motor is gonna mean this will be a significantly faster car than the old version. Differences for the US model. What's the difference between the China model versus the US model? This is really interesting. Okay, US model uses Panasonic's 82 kilowatt hour battery. So slightly bigger battery pack for in America. NCA battery, so different chemistry. Nickel, cobalt, aluminum. Uh, this increases the power 
to 435 kilowatt. Um, that's in terms of the actual power output from the battery. This adds 20 kilograms to the vehicle. So the China one is 20 kilograms lighter. So 45 pounds lighter for the China made vehicle because it's got a slightly smaller battery pack. And the EPA range is 304 miles. So 304 miles of EPA range in America. It's the American Model 3 ludicrous. The 2023 Model 3 performance was rated at 547 kilometers of range under WLTP standards. That's the same as the 2024 Model 3 long range, but um, the range of the ludicrous will be 528 kilometers. So the range is going to come down for in, you know, European, basically European range, listed range for the ludicrous model. Now, in the real world, will the range be any different? Well, I don't know. I mean, I honestly think it'll be more how you drive it because realistically, the range is coming down just for one reason. The weight is not enough. It's not enough of a difference in weight versus the old model to affect the range. It's such a tiny, tiny difference. The real difference for this range change is actually just the power. You increase the power of a vehicle, more than likely you're going to use that power, right? So your range is going to come down. Now, if you drive this car the same way as you drove the previous model, you probably get exactly the same range. But very interesting to see here the difference between battery chemistry, two different chemistries, uh, two different size battery packs, a 79 kilowatt hour battery pack uh, versus the 82 kilowatt hour pack. So that means the US battery pack is 5% bigger. You, you should in theory get more range, but you might not. It depends on the chemistry. It depends on the energy density of the batteries. We don't actually know the exact energy density of the Panasonic battery versus the LG battery. Either way, guys, these are the, pretty much the final specifications. Performance, we haven't been told that yet, but there has been leaks from Tesla to say that the performance 2.9 seconds, zero to 60 or zero to 62, not sure which one it is, but 2.9 seconds for that, uh, you know, zero to 62 mile per hour sprint, zero to 100, meaning it's about 10% faster than the old model. Guys, what do you think of the new Model 3 Ludicrous? Do you reckon it's going to be worth upgrading to this? Do you think it's a, a worthy successor to the Tesla Model 3 performance? Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. The Chinese government has come out firing at Europe. They're saying this new report, it's stacking everything against Chinese automakers. Basically, it's unfair. They've already come up with a conclusion before they even began this report. And the Chinese government says, you know what? It's all basically rigged. Now, reports have emerged that BYD has received over the last couple of years around about 3.7, 3.6 billion US dollars from the Chinese government as direct subsidies. That's quite a lot of money. It does kind of explain how BYD have been able to expand at the fastest pace in the history of the automotive industry, which they have been doing. Uh, look at BYD's sales.